It's the Daily 304's presentation of famous people, places, and events that shaped West Virginia. Welcome to the History Project. Today we take a look at the Marshall football team plane crash. At the center of Marshall University's campus is a sculpture and fountain created by Italian artist Harry Bertoia. Its design is abstract, but some see in its bronze curves the cradling hands of God. Called the Memorial Fountain, it observes Marshall's darkest day. In 1970, Marshall's football team was rebounding from years of straight losses, with three wins and two games left in the season. The school chartered a Southern Airways DC-9 aircraft to fly the team and fans to Greenville, North Carolina for its November 14th game against East Carolina University. After a hard 17-14 loss, the thundering herd flew back to Huntington in abysmal weather conditions. As the plane descended for landing, it clipped trees on an opposing hill and crashed into the hillside before the runway. There were no survivors. Lost were the lives of 36 players, 10 coaches and staff, 24 boosters, and five flight crew members, 75 people in all. It remains the worst tragedy in American sports history. Despite an unbearable burden of grief, Marshall saw no other option than to rebuild its football program, which it did with such success that it would be documented in the 2005 movie, We Are Marshall. More importantly, the university focused on honoring the victims. The remains of six players in the crash who couldn't be identified were buried together on a hill overlooking the school, marked by a monument. And the memorial fountain was placed on campus to honor all the victims. Every November 14th, the fountain is turned off for the winter to mourn the event. And every first day of spring, it is turned on again to celebrate rebirth, as well as the lives of those they lost on that November night when they flew into the hands of God. <laughs>